Welcome to another video and it's Sunday the 4th of June 2023 and it's a beautiful morning, 53 Fahrenheit and we're here at the National Trust Quarry Bank. Let's go and check it out. So prices for Quarry Bank, £22 an adult, 11 a child, 55 a family, garden open 10.30am, mill 10.30, the estate 8am. So the mill, the beating heart of Quarry Bank, where the rhythm of raw and machinery still produces woven cotton today. Quarry Bank House. Next door to the mill, the Gregg family built their home. And we've got the garden rising up to this steep-sided valley. Style Village built to house the workers of Quarry Bank. Style Village still remains a thriving community. Chapel Woods. So there is plenty to, uh, to see and do. So we are located just here. There's plenty to see. So this is the Quarry Bank Disable Car to get you to most of the places like the gardens etc. Okay, so we're going to head towards Chapelwood Style Village. So somewhere completely different, never been here before. It is dog friendly, um, but there is a lot of areas that are not in the National Trust. So a lot of the dogs are not on leads. And it's a beautiful walk so far. So I believe from what we can see up there is the style village. It's a beautiful field. We're going to continue walking towards style village. So it's a beautiful morning today. Very pleasant. Not too hot at the moment. Loads and loads of buttercups everywhere. Okay, so we've got the Chapel Woods to the left. Norcliffe Chapel. Style Village over there. This is the Style Cross around 1860. So we're going to head towards Style Village and that was originally built to house the workers for the Beautiful mill. breeze this morning. Absolutely stunning cottages. Look at all the steps heading into the, the cottages there. Reminds me of a, a lot of homes we saw last week in Queens, New York. Some beautiful gardens at the front. So far all this is actually free. It's not part of the, the National Trust. Style Village Hub, when the space is open you can discover the story of the early 19th century village. I'll just check the colour out of that. So you can probably hear we are so close to Manchester Airport, we're probably about a mile away from the main uh, runways here in style. So well worth exploring the style village area. Absolutely beautiful flowers. So we're here at the chapel. Chapel opens about 3.30 p.m. So this is Norcliffe Chapel style. Place of worship since 1823. So this must be, yeah, just telling you the time there. 
It's just on at 10.30, so pretty close. Absolutely stunning place. And just check out the old bell tower there. Looking glorious in the uh, blue sunshine today. Well, hope you're enjoying the video so far. It certainly is a, a beautiful Sunday morning. So the first shot to the the river here at Quarry Bank. And again, you can hear aircraft taking off from Manchester Airport. You're coming up to uh, 10.29 a.m. and uh, they should be open up for 10.30. So we're heading back to the, uh, the main reception area. Okay, so we've got the tickets and we're heading down towards the, the mill. So beautiful shaded along here. It does look to be a lot to do here at uh, Quarry Bank. Uh, we're just going to cover a few things off today. Some beautiful coloured trees. You can just see the mill coming up down here. Beautiful to keep your dogs on a short lead down this part but they're all still loose. And there will be the the main gardens which we'll look at later. I'm just loving these trees. Wow. Okay so this is the mill. Look at the clock. And apparently down here there's cafes, refreshments, lots going on, should be good. Plenty of people starting to come this way as the garden, quarry bank house. We're going to, I think, start with the mill entrance. Okay. So the Greg family home in Belfast, 1765. To inside the first part. So cotton doesn't usually grow here in Cheshire, but uh, thrives in other parts of the world. Yeah. Rubbish and debris out of the raw plant material. And the women would have been spinning on the spinning wheel. And the young girls helping as well. And then the man of the house is normally the weaver. So it's got Amazing place. So this is the weaving shed. So from 1834, the workers of Quarry Bank made a cotton fabric by weaving Widthways threads called weft with lengthways threads called warp. 
Wow. Just look at the old picture there. That's what it used to be like. Very impressed so far. It's an amazing place to come. In. So this is one of the looms that are working there. It's very, very noisy in here now. Amazing. And continuous way up to the top floor. Okay, I think we're right at the very top now, so uh, let's explore. So, Edward Jenner created the first vaccine in 1796, protected people from smallpox, common and deadly disease. Smallpox, 1796, cholera, 1884, rabies, 1885, Typhoid 1896 and the bubonic plague 1897. At this part there's lots to uh, learn about the human body, the eye, the brain. to look at, lots of interesting things. Looks like one of the old like wheelbarrows. Barber's chair or dentist chair. And modern times it now does have a lift. You can certainly spend a long long time just looking at all the the different displays here. You can't think all them years ago, people used to live here with the families and amazing. Eat in the good old US of A. So this is the cotton processing room here at uh, Quarry, Quarry Hill. I don't think all them years. Look at this machine where it actually uh, puts the cotton onto each of these spindles. Unbelievable. This one's putting them on an even bigger spindle there. This one's actually working, we can see the cotton going onto the spindles there. Amazing. It's amazing how all these machines do it. The machines they've got again, that's unbelievable. the old pictures there so that's what it would have looked like in this room producing all the cotton there it's an amazing place isn't it yes 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 I mean the trouble is the machines just about 
about all the machines run, but we don't run them all at once at the same time. But um, have, have you been to visit before? Um, you've got very similar machines uh, in 1834 to the ones yeah. we've got here. But at that side of the gallery, about 25 half sized cardinal. I'm sorry, do you want to get a. Yeah, I can get it now. You may not photograph Okay, so this machine's going to go on. It's going to be pretty noisy. So it's, it's the two drums. got very fine wires brushing against each other. Mm. And it comes out as a side yeah. 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 So the cotton's going in there. It's coming through there. through. So the cotton's coming through there. Started off here. Down there is the main river. So the mill actually, the water mill actually runs the main mill here. Water power, steam power, and sheer muscle power ran the mill and its machines at Quarry Bank. 1934, the mill stood as a thriving cotton spinning enterprise. So the main uh, water mill is going here. Look at that. So this is the main wheel moving by the water. wheel pit standing now is where the original wheel would have been uh, here the quarry bank it's amazing so all them years ago in the 1800s would have been a big wheel spinning here creating the energy now to the steam power. So as you can see it's very well labelled, we're on the red floor, there is a total of four floors here in the mill. Wow, that so that's the steam power. certainly is an amazing place and you could just spend a long time exploring it. So I hope you've all enjoyed walking through the mill and uh, hopefully you'll come on your, your own and uh, spend a lot of time learning about the history. Certainly the machinery is just stunning here. Okay and we're back out into the sunshine. Actually quite a good view of the wheel there, the water wheel.
So heading this way is the restaurant, mill shop, toilets, and the weaving shed restaurant there. Toilets are here. So here we've got the pre-love bookshop. And it looks like it's selling plants, etc. Okay, so we're heading down to the garden areas. At Quarry Bank. The river is just down there to the right. And this is where they used to control the water coming through the mill, pretty much like the canals. Beautiful areas just to come and uh, have a picnic right down by the river. And there we go, the river running at the side of the mill. Just can't beat the sound of running water. It's so peaceful. Plenty of walks to, to just go on. Or you can just crash out and enjoy a picnic. Heading there. towards the gardens area. And what's that? A midnight, midsummer night's dream. William Shakespeare, 13th of July, 7 pm. Here at Quarry Bank. That's uh, an amazing view of the whole of the mill and all the different floors that we've just been in. It really is spectacular when you think all them years ago, all the people working in there, how noisy it would have been, producing cotton. And what a beautiful day we picked to come to Quarry Bank. To the left, I think, is the entrance to the, the gardens. So again, you only need tickets really to go into the mill or the gardens. Where we are now, you can park up completely free and have a walk around here. The entrance to the garden, there's already games that you can play here. And it does look to be beautiful. And some spectacular flowers here. Very unusual. Not seen anything like that before. So great for the family. There's like uh, proper games that you can play here around there. And certainly the flowers are beautiful around here. Shot of uh, the quarry mill. Certainly very impressed and where I've never been before. Beautiful area. And this is using our National Trust card. And what a beautiful day. It's been stunning now for the last few weeks here in the UK. It has been a bit on the chilly side, but today, beautiful sunshine. Fortunately, dogs are not allowed here in the garden area. We're going to be shortly crossing over the bridge there. Beautiful colours of the, the trees. Wow, the scenery is stunning all the way down the river there. I think that's got to be the awesome picture there. Looking up towards Quarry Bank.
Not sure exactly where the gardens take you to. It's like up to a little cave area up there. Yeah, the gardens are something else. Very well kept. As you can see, you can walk right to the top of the gardens up there. The colours of the trees today, looking even more spectacular with that blue sky. Wow, look at this red tree. So that tree says I'm very old, don't climb on me. You need the water at the side of the bank there. Like a mini waterfall down at the bottom. Beautiful. can walk for miles and miles of people right at the very top there. So peacefully and just hear the water heading past. The size of some of these leaves. Uh, heading up that way, there are 43 steps heading back. You wouldn't think you are less than about two miles from Manchester Airport from here. It's so peaceful. Plenty of uh, buttercups again, all here. You could spend hours and hours here. The size of this tree, been here hundreds and hundreds of years. And lots of uh, unusual plants here. Pretty warm now. Turning out to be a beautiful day. So yeah, the gardens are well worth coming to if you want to see spectacular flowers like that. Amazing colours. Just heading uh, back now, towards the start of the gardens. The quarry mill right there to the left. I'm going to head over another little bridge here, just to the side of the mill. And the last great view of the river at the side. And that way heading down towards in the gardens. Just at the side of the old mill here. So this is the original quarry bank house. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, video today. Just showing you a glimpse of what there is here at the National Trust quarry bank. If you've enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. And of course, drop me some comments and subscribe to the channel. Of we will see you on the next video somewhere in the UK soon. Mm -hmm.